हेलो एवरीवन आई एम मनाली रेशम वाला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फिजियोथेरापी टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट पी एन एफ इन रेस्पिरेशन इट इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ सिलेबस फॉर फाइनल ईयर फिजियोथेरापी स्टूडेंट ऑफ गुजरात यूनिवर्सिटी एंड द सब्जेक्ट इज फिजियोथेरापी इन कार्डियो पलमनरी कंडीशंस पी एन एफ इन रेस्पिरेशन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ रिहेबिलिटेशन टू बी लर्न बाई एवरी फिजियोथेरापिस्ट सो लेट सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ इट इन दिस वीडियो टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डेफिनेशन रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ पी एन एफ इंडिकेशंस कॉन्ट्रो इंडिकेशंस एंड सम ऑफ द टेक्निक्स इन डिटेल इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी फ्यू ऑफ द टेक्निक्स इन डिटेल सो लेट सी द डेफिनेशन न्यूरोफिजोलॉजिकल फैसिलिटेशन दैट इज पी एन एफ ऑफ रेस्पिरेशन इज द टर्मोलॉजी यूज टू डिस्क्राइब externally applied proprioceptive and tactile stimuli that produce reflex mo respiratory movement responses and that appear to alter the rate and depth of the breathing breathing problem arise due to both inspiratory and expiratory phase disturbances to improve breathing the related structures involving diaphragmatic sternal and costal area should be treated as we know the respiration is a reflex procedure the physiological mechanism that enables the initiation of inspiration is thought to be stretch reflex and which is occurring at the level of medulla and pons where respiratory centers are available the stretch res reflex resist the change in muscle length by contracting the stretch muscle fiber via its muscle spindle that is proprioceptor positive response to pnf technique we may get is inspiratory expansion of the ribs increased epigastric excursion visibly increased and palpable increased tone in abdominal muscles slow respiratory rate often associated with involuntary coughing changes in breath sound on auscultation increased chest wall stability decreased use of suction a more normal respiratory pattern retained from some time after treatment let's see the indications and contraindications copd is one of the important contraindication for pnf technique unconscious patient then ALS that is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and GBS Guillain Barre syndrome such kind of neuro physiological neuromuscular conditions are very uh, well treated with PNF in respiration next is cerebrovascular accidents in which if patient gets stroke we can treat him with PNF techniques cerebral palsy child and phrenic nerve palsy in which we may find paralysis of diaphragm contraindication are fractured rib and floating rib here are some of the techniques intercostal stretch and vertebral compression we are going to see in detail in this video tutorial let's see the first technique that is intercostal stretch the procedure for it is we need to apply pressure to the upper border of the rib in order to stretch the intercostal muscle in a downward direction it should be timed with exhalation and maintain stretch pressure till inspiration we can perform it unilaterally as well as bilaterally according to the application we may get response if we are giving unilaterally we may get increased a gradual increase in respiratory movement in area under and around the stretch if we are giving bilaterally we may find epigastric excursion in Uh, epigastric area the reason for this is due to reflexive activation of diaphragm by intercostal stretch receptors here is the epigastric area shown where we can see rays in epigastric region during inspiration which may show a positive response indication for intercostal stretch technique are over the areas of instability and over the areas of decreased decreased mobility instability we may find in case of paradoxical movement of the ribs and decreased mobility we may find in a case of consolidation next technique is vertebral pressure the procedure for it is with a patient in supine lying position 
a firm pressure is applied to the uppermost thoracic vertebrae we may find the response is increase in epigastric excursion in presence of relaxed abdominal wall and if we are applying this pressure to the lowermost thoracic vertebrae we may find improvement in inspiration in the apical thoracic area the reason for it is dorsal root mediated intersegment reflex we need to give pressure which is shown in a figure like this way in supine position the pressure should be applied with an open hand for comfort and must be firm enough to provide intrafusal stretch here are the reference for these pnf techniques for next pnf techniques to understand in detail do watch my next video thank you